Why are there several <laughs> people who know the combination of this lot? Only because this is the third classroom we've done this in. But they all know the combination. They're a lot. Okay, right? And we told you ahead of time? Yeah. Good. Would you mind just dialing in something random and checking the combination while we do that? What would be a logical way to open this lock if you didn't know the combination? What? Listen to the clicks. Listen to the clicks? So maybe hold it up to your ear and locks have actually come a long way to where that's really difficult. Anybody else? Do you have numbers? Yeah, I tried. I'm sorry? Do you have numbers? A number sequence like going through every single possible combination? So you're, you're saying like zero, 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 and then trying that? So eventually, I think we probably go through all of them. Try zero, 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 zero. Anything? No. no. How about like zero, 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 one? Try that. Anything? No. We'd be here a really long time. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have it kind of time today. Um, another way would just be to take a sledgehammer to it. Anybody have a sledgehammer with them? No. <laughs> That's, that 10,000 combination thing is sounding pretty good then. Or you could just ask the person who knows the combination. I know the combination. The combination? Right? What's up? I know there's like some locks that I guess you just go with the last number pull down and it'll open. But well, there's a theory, sure. We'll test that theory in just a second. It doesn't always work. We'll test that theory. I actually bought this from the hardware store over downtown Epsilon at the Ace Hardware. Um, I don't remember the street that it's on, but it's uh, <laughs> it's just around the corner from the room. <laughs> okay, yeah, you guys are with me. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to tell you the combination of locks. Can you stand here for me? Face me. Hold that. I'm going to tell you one number at a time, but just with my brain. I'm not going to actually say it. I'm going to tell you digit by digit, and you're going to dial it in, and then I'll send you the next one. You dial it in, and so on. I will give you this hint. There are, there's one number in the combination that does repeat. The other numbers are different. So it could be like one, one, blah, blah, one, blah, one, blah, so on. It's not, it's not that, but it could be. Make sense? So look at me. I'm going to send you the first number. If you have a number in mind already, it's probably not the number, so just kind of <laughs> clear your mind up. Ready? Here it comes, look at me. That's the first number dial it in. <laughs> you have no idea yet you're dialing in the number. Is that I'm just seven? Seven. Yeah. Okay, here comes the next one. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. I was thinking three, it's not three. So if you were getting three, it's sorry. Right. My fault. Let me read here. Ready? Here comes the next one. That way. <laughs> and I'm not like just tapping the numbers out. Like, oh, maybe yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. So you have one number that repeats. So far, you haven't repeated anything, right? So I'm right. going to send you the next two at the same time. So it'll be like dot dot, like 29. It's not 29, but something like mm -hmm. that. Right? Here it comes. Down. Remember, one of those digits does your So you decided on 7424. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Give her a big round of applause for that.